What it do, familiar? I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I didn't want to make this video. I didn't. Because, simply because... I think that's good. Simply because I didn't feel like making it. Like, I wanted to just edit this photo and just get it over with and not even think about, you know, having to make a video. But I know you guys would hate me if I didn't do this. Like, if I didn't show you guys how I did this edit and you guys saw it posted on my Instagram, you would be like, bro, taxi. That's what we doing now? That, that's what we doing now? That's how you gonna do us? I knew you guys would feel that way. So I already did one edit that I didn't show y'all. I'm gonna start the screen recording now. Don't get mad at me, all right, y'all boys? Don't get mad, cause y'all gonna see it and y'all gonna be like, bro, what's up? Like, like, we got beef or whatever. We don't got beef. So this image, it popped up right now. I did this photo image right here. I'm gonna show you guys the edit that I did. So this was the inspiration. And this right here is the one that I did. So the inspiration versus the one that I did. This is one I did, I did this yesterday. And I was like, man, they might hit me up and be like, bro, why you made that and didn't tell us how you made it. I was going through it, bro. I use, I be going through it and I don't be feeling like being bothered and stuff. And then I'd be like, man, you know what I'm saying? So it's, 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 it's different stuff like that, man. And I, I, I'd be like, man, I don't feel like being bothered, but it's like, when I edit, I know I gotta like explain it to you guys and talk to you guys and stuff like that. And I'll be like, man, I don't feel like doing it. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, why not make this edit with you guys? So this one right here is the original image that I got off of, um, off of line, but this is the image that she's wanting us to create. So this one right here is what was created from this image. This is Megan Thee Stallion's, um, I think, um, album cover. And this is like some more images. This is another one. This is Fa Fashion Nova X Mug and the Stallion. This is another one right here. So these right here are what we're creating. Um, yeah. So this, I think this was a real. This was a real shoot. This was not a real shoot. This was VFX. But this was the real one. So this is the VFX one that we're going to be doing right now. So the first thing I have to do is, you know, obviously acquire the image. I got this image from Pinterest. I literally just. No, no. Actually, I got it from Google. I took the image that my client gave me. So for example, if it's this image or if it was this image, you download Google Photos or you go to Google Photos on your, um, on your, um, you know, Google search, you go to Google image search, you go to Google, you hit the image button of a little camera, you click it and you can drag and drop the little camera, um, the little, the image that you want to find into that camera and it'll find it for you. And it found it and it was making the stylist album cover. So like, okay, bet. So this was the image right here. This is the highest quality that it has possible because the one that was before, as you can see, is not as high quality like as the other one is that we're gonna be creating. You can just see like from this, like how it's just so much better quality. You know what I mean? So we're gonna go ahead and be using this one. I uploaded it into um, Lightroom right now so I can just kind of play around with it. I'm not gonna play around with the lights as much, but these are the photos that we're gonna be using, loading. This one, this one, and this one of our client. So the first thing to do is, you know, make sure that the lighting is good. So main main thing that I always try to get and make sure that is good is the um, shadows. I try to make sure that the shadows is good. I try to make sure that the, um, what is it? Shadows and my exposure, okay? So I try to make my exposure is good away from my, away from my subject. So I could, I could remove them from the background easier. You know what I mean? Like make sure the shadows and all of that is good. Command C, I'll copy these and then I'll paste these same settings onto the next one. And then just hopefully that it, 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 it pastes correctly. And maybe go up on the, like that, boom, Command C. Do the same thing on this one right here, Command V, and boom. So yeah, there we go. And now we have to work on this image. So this image is the one that we're gonna be getting in to, I'm trying to see if I need to go up on the shadow or anything. I think it's actually fine the way it is. I'll, I'll, I'll deal with it and play around with it later. But I'm gonna go up on the sharpening to make the, um, to make it more, I'm gonna go open the sharpening to make it more like detailed. So I went up on a sharpening 10. I'm gonna go into texture 10, I mean five. Texture is gonna be five. Sharpening is gonna be 10. So boom. So now we're gonna go to edit in Photoshop. And we're gonna open this up in Photoshop. The first thing to do is gonna to be to resize it and remove pieces that we know we don't need. So for example, I'm gonna resize it to a four by five because this is for Instagram. I'm gonna have to go up like that, and now I'm going to make sure the background's on default. Double click for the background default. And now I need to Command J, Command J. Then I'm gonna stretch this top up here. You can really just, you know, um, hit that and then hit Generative Fill, and then just see what it generates out of there. So you know, help it out, make it easier for you that way. And now it's gonna generate the 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 needed portion 
that you didn't already have. I'm using the Uniball, you guys. I'm not using the Wacom tablet yet. I may use the Wacom. I just dropped my pin. I may use the Wacom tablet, but right as of right now, I'm using the Uniball, so. Yeah. Let me know if you guys like tutorials like this, please, because I've been going through like a content crisis, a content distribution crisis, me not knowing what to put where. Like, I don't know if you guys, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what to put where. I don't know if you guys want this type of content on Patreon only, if you guys want it on Patreon and YouTube, but Patreon gets it early. I don't know if you guys want it to where I only do behind the scenes videos on YouTube and then I do tutorials and all the tech educational stuff on Patreon. I don't know what you guys want. Like the Patreon's free, like basically free regardless also. Like, so it's like, I just don't know. I'm trying to do content distribution, but I feel like if I flood the YouTube channel with too much editing videos, it might be a problem. Like I like, okay, maybe, you know what I'm saying? It might throw off my like audience, my target audience or whatever. So I literally, I, I literally don't know. I'm just having you guys help me figure that out because I don't, know what I'm trying to do. So right there, I'm gonna merge that down. And now we kind of have the image that we need. So literally the next thing to do is to get rid of Megan. So we're gonna go ahead and you can do one of two things. You can do probably do select subject and see how it selects the subject. And you can right click and then you can go, um, oh, gener just generate fill after it selects the subject, but make sure it's only selecting her and not selecting her and a whole bunch of other stuff. Like it's selecting the car too. Like it doesn't need to select the car. I just needed to select Megan and make sure it's only selecting Megan and not any of the car. That selecting her shoes, is make sure that it's selecting her as best as possible. So when you go to remove her, you can get her all the way removed. And I'll upload the image um, also, you guys, if you guys trying to do this edit with one of your people or whatever. But basically the way that you need to do it when you shoot it, you need to shoot it with all of the angles thought about. So for example, for this one right here, I shot it at the angles that it were needed. Like if I'm trying to replicate this, I need to shoot at the angle that's needed to put them on there. So for example, the girl on the car, I had her on the floor. The girl right there on the bottom left corner, I had her just like that, bottom left corner. But you gotta like, you know what I'm saying? You have to know how you're shooting it so that when you put it all together, it doesn't look crazy. All right, you guys? So yeah, like that's gonna be, that's like the main thing. Just placement is gonna be everything, okay? Placement is everything. So. We're gonna be, we're gonna make sure we got her selected. We're going to select her hair too, cause her hair is right here, right? Make sure you got all of it selected. And then should, we should be able to right click and no, no, we'll generate a fill. Generate and see what it generates. I really hope it's able to remove her. If it's not, we gotta do one by one. We gotta do like her top of her body first and then the rest of her body. There's like flies in here. Man, it's a whole lot going on right now. I, I I have a lot going on with personal life, but I try my hard. I feel like like my purpose is to help you guys, so I try to do my best in helping. Oh, boop! It's gone. That snap. Y'all seen that? Look how fast it just removed her, and now it's letting us choose how you want to have the car. This was the first one. This is the second one. If I do this one, I could probably morph the car, right? Or not? But it's kind of coming out of spillage. I don't need it spilling. Yeah, I think this is the best one, right? So we're going to command J this part and then merge this down right here, boom. And now we got this merged down. So literally now we have that surface to be able to put our subject onto now. So literally we had to remove the person from the first from the first surface and now we can place our subject onto this surface, you see? So it just made life a lot easier. So now we're gonna go ahead and go back to our um, images with our people. So I think the first one to be able to place would probably be her on the hood of the car would probably be the easiest. So we're gonna take her right here and we're going to right click. We're gonna go edit in Photoshop. We're gonna let it open up in Photoshop. And then once it opens up in Photoshop, you guys may have watched the last tutorials where you kind of just remove them from the background, but remove them as a mask. So that way it doesn't, it's not, it's not destructive. Command J, right? And you're gonna hit remove background. And then when you hit remove background, it's gonna remove them as a mask. So it's gonna be non-destructive remove. You see that right there? To the bottom right corner, it's masked out, okay? So now we can go to the, actually I wanna see how much of her is is masked though. Actually, I'm gonna just go ahead and select this whole layer and just copy it. Command zero, zoom back out. Cancel, command zero, command C, go right here. Command V, boom, just like that. Now command T, T, 
to scale it down and now we can keep it as a uniform scale so it'll all scale down at once boom and literally like this like look boom literally how we have it y'all literally how we have it now if we want to change the color of the car we gotta we gotta, probably should do all of that like you know early so you're not worried about it changing the color of the car but you could literally boom see bam y'all see that right there bam y'all see how that go just like that man and you could put her up more on the car i think she's more so like right here but i'm trying to see oh dang hold on command t i messed up command there you go bring it down all right we need to make her smaller and then boom she's like this okay so we're gonna do some puppet warping you guys i'll show y'all how to do that in a minute come out to warp her out and move her legs around because i could do some cool stuff where it's like she's kind of off the side of the off the car like this she's like sitting there but her feet are like this i could do this this low-key looks kind of cool right and then i'll put the second one right here on the bottom corner i feel like that's kind of cool yeah i feel like that's kind of cool yep so now for the second one we're going to go ahead and go right here we're going to click out we're going to hit don't save go to this one right here we're going to get this next one she's going to go in the behind the car but this one's going to go in front of the car so we have to see how she's going to go um edit and photoshop do the exact same thing after this is kind of repetition you guys I'm about to stop the screen recording so that i know it saves and we're going to go right here again to remove background remember make sure you guys are shooting in raw all right, I'm gonna add these photos to the um, thing as well for you guys to be able to play with them as well. But, well, in Patreon. Patreon's gonna get access to the photos. But make sure that you guys are shooting in RAW. RAW makes it the easiest for you to be able to, for you to be able to, um, you know, place everything where you needed it. Back in, same thing, Command-T. Make sure it's locked up here. Go ahead and scroll that down. You could put this person right, I could put her right here on this side, facing the same way. I could turn her around. So I could go, I could zoom in, command zero. I could right click it and I could do um, horizontal flip. So she'd be like this. So she could kind of go like look out that way. She looks that way, you see what I'm saying? So it could be different vibes like this. Just wanna make sure that she's the same size, like so she looks like real in a sense. There we go. So I'm gonna have her like probably here, double click, and I'm gonna have the third one over there. So I'm gonna be just placing everybody where they're gonna be at before I start doing my VFX work. So it's kind of just like tracing. Like, you know what I mean? If you think about it like art, you kind of like trace it, put your people where you need them at, or like, you know, trace it out before you color it in. So right now I'm tracing everything out, editing Photoshop before I color everything in. So it will be smarter if you edit it every single one first and then put them all together. But me personally, I don't like doing that simply because Simply because when I edit them and then I export them, then they're no longer raw images. So if I edit them as a raw image into the same, the same, you know, um, project folder, then it makes it a lot easier for me to do my job, you know, as the, the VFX editor, because there's no, you know, nothing's taken away. So I'm making sure she's the same size. I'm just putting her, making sure she's the same size. So she doesn't look larger than life. She looks real, I want her to look real. right looking real there we go you guys may see that hole right here we can bring that back because this is a um this is a masked image so it'll be easy to bring it back but she's gonna be right here maybe put her up a little bit more so to kind of see some more like that right there double click enter boom she's gonna be going behind the car you guys so we don't have to worry about that right now we're gonna we'll worry about all of that in a minute i'm just making sure that i have everybody where they need to go her right here She's gonna go behind the car. We could fix this right here on her shoulder by zooming in, making sure that we have the mask layer selected. I'm gonna go to our brush tool, change the brush tool to um, white. So instead of black, the whichever square is on top is the one that's gonna be used. So instead of black, boom, white, right? So now we can make, our, make it bigger. Making the brush bigger is left bracket, right bracket, left bracket, make it smaller, right? So little brackets on here, left bracket smaller, right bracket bigger. If I talk too fast, you guys go ahead and um, you know put it in half speed, it'll go slower. Just like that, boom. So now this part right here, she's back put together. Now what we can do is we know that we're not gonna need the bottom half of her. So we really could get the bottom half of her gone. 
But what I want to do to save myself is I'm going to take all of these, Command, Command, Select, right? And I'm going to go Command G, make those a group so I can remove all of them and put them all back, right? So now I need this layer right here. I'm going to go Command J on this layer. I'm going to select this car and put this car on a new layer, all right? So we're going to go to, I wonder if it'll do Select Subject, but I don't think so. Maybe I'll do right here and I will go to right here, Magic's Quick Selection Tool. And see the quick selection tool selects the whole car. It's really just the top of this car that really matters for real. And then everything else kind of will like fill out as it as it fills out. And if you want to get a precise cut, you can go ahead and just draw it yourself. Hold option if you want to subtract, like take away some of the, the, the little ants. You can take them away just like that. And if you want to bring them back, you can just let go of it. It'll hit the plus. So if you see the little plus symbol next to the lasso, that means it's adding the little um, dancing ants, right? If you see it away from it, it's taken away. This is a lot easier to do if you have your um, if you have your um, Wacom trackpad. It's a lot easier, but it's not that bad using the Uniball as well. The Uniball does help a lot, a lot. So boom, just like that. It could be a very, 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 very rough cut. Like it doesn't have to be the whole. Like this whole bottom doesn't really matter. It's just this top part right here with the car that I really need to be like you know tack sharp for real to make sure that um, that's really it, to make sure that she stays on one side of it. So making sure I'm tracing this all, boom, just like so. Tracing it good, just like so. Same thing over here. Even though I won't need all of this over here, you see what I'm saying? Just like so. There you go. Now command zero to back out. And then what you're gonna, what I'm gonna do is, I think I want to create this as a mask. I don't think I want to create this as a what's name. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the mask right here, the little button right here, mask. So now I just masked it, right? I'm gonna open up these, take this one, right? I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put her behind this mask. Y'all see what she just, see what just happened, right? She's behind this mask now. So now she's gonna show up back here, which is the person that we've been that we're, that we've been working on, right? which is this one right here. So we're working on her right here in the back, right? Now we have to work on her being seen in the front. See, it's all gonna come together. It's all gonna come together. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Yes, yes, okay. Now, Command J. Actually, we wanna make sure that, she, that she's the right size that I want her to be, though, before I go any bigger. Like, maybe she's too big. Let me see, Command T. Make her a little bit smaller. Yeah, like, in comparison to the car, you gotta like, think about it too, like that's all I'm thinking about, I forget, like in comparison to the car, she can't be like too big, like she gotta look like realistic in comparison to the car. There you go. All right, now I'm gonna go Command J, put the other version of her on top of this car, and I'm going to get my masking tool right here. I'm gonna go to my brush, change it to black so I can erase some erasing. All right, I'm gonna start erasing. I'm gonna go right up here to this you guys look at my brush, y'all can look at my um my settings up here in this top part right here. When you see my opacity, see my flow, see my smoothing. So if you guys wanna look at that, you guys can look at that. Boom, see? Bam, so now we got this through, right? None of this matters up here. It's all in that other layer. See, boom, and make it sure you got that flow, right? Going around the side, same vibe, right? Now what you want to do is you want to go into you want to go into this layer. And you're going to go to the, um, the blending mode. You want to change it to a blending mode that looks good behind the glass. Majority of the time, overlay looks pretty good, but overlay might not look. Maybe it might be soft light today. Let me see. Overlay usually overlay or screen works, but screen acting crazy right now. Let me see. Normal looks like that. So we need like a probably overlay, overlay or screen, overlay or screen, light color screen. Maybe lighten. Let me go Command J on lighten. Make lighten bigger. I kind of like that right there. I kind of like that. Let me see how this one looks. Yeah, I kind of like that though. All right, let me see, Command Z. All right, right here, we're literally just gonna go down on the opacity so that she's see-through. 
So I'm gonna change my opacity of my brush right here to like 16th and then just go over it like that. Literally just like that, and just like that. Like that, Command J, go over it a little bit more. Stuff like this, you guys, is like trial and error. Cause I really could just leave her at normal, right? I could leave it at normal. And I could put the car, the car mask, command J on top. And then now change the car. All right, no cap, we're gonna come back. I'm gonna leave this like this for right now. All right, and then I'm gonna put these two together. Command E. Command E is to merge if you guys didn't know how to merge, it's to merge. All right, bet. So we're not worried about her right now. We're gonna go ahead and bring the next person in. So I'm gonna unhide. The group again, but now the next person I'm probably gonna do the one on top of the car, right? So we're gonna bring the one on top of the car in and we'll mess with her. Top of the car, command T, change her orientation around to make sure that she's the right size that she needs to be with being on top of a car. I kinda like the like hand, the like, I kinda like the feet, the foot hanging off. Like I feel like that foot hanging off kinda, kinda hard, no cap. I feel like that looks cool. Probably she looks kind of dull a little bit, so I'm gonna go to filter. Um, I'm gonna hit, let me hit enter. I'm gonna go to filter. And I'm gonna go to camera raw. Hold on, wait, let me say filter. Wait, come on, come on, come on. Make sure it's selected. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Filter, camera raw filter. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. Man, I was doing abs. My abs, my core hurts so bad right now. And then I'm gonna go up on my contrast. I feel like my contrast needs it. Yeah, there we go. And I'm gonna hit okay and that should be good. Yeah, that brought, that brought, it brought a lot of her color back. All right, so literally, I think this is a good seating. She, the last one was seated like that, but eh, I don't know, let's see. All right, so literally now what you guys could do is, I think that her mask is a pretty good mask. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go, let's see. Oh, I think it looks pretty good. You guys gotta also remember that your clients don't necessarily know what good or bad is. They only really know what you say is good versus what you say is bad. So if you feel like you did a bad job, then they're gonna be like, you did a bad job. But if you feel like you did a good job, then they're gonna be like, you did a good job. So I feel like, you know, if you have confidence in knowing what you're doing, then you'll be fine. Boom, see it, boom. And now I got her little space right here for her to be just like so, Command T. Just like so, rolling up, boom, enter. Literally, so now I can go below each one of these and make a layer. So I'm going below this layer, I'm going to go plus. I'm gonna grab my brush, right? And I'm gonna make sure that my brush is on black, right? And now literally I can go below each one of these and make a shadow, just like so. So literally you guys like, for example, create a shadow of her like standing, literally. Just, just like little, little like darknesses for her to stand on top of. And my opacity is at 18. You guys see the different opacities, and literally just go under each one of them and create a layer underneath them. And now you can create a shadow. Um, bailed on me for tonight, so I guess that that day in the life is done. I mean, I'm not tripping because like I, I did really didn't want to go anywhere regardless. But you know, when somebody pays for something and then they have to reschedule, it just adds extra like you know stress onto you as the creative, especially being that you are the one who has to, um, you know what I mean? Like stop what you're doing or reschedule what you're doing if you already have something for tomorrow. Like if I already have a shoot for tomorrow 
now she's having to reschedule and like to her next available time. And it ain't even her fault. She's like, oh, my makeup artist canceled on me. So literally like what? So her makeup artist done canceled on her. So now it trumbles down to me because now she's like, oh, I, I need my makeup done and I can't get my makeup done because my makeup artist folded on me. So now that's a problem too. So now we got to deal with that. But I'm literally just going back in here and now just warping some of the body parts around, like, you know, making everything not look so, you know, making everything not look so, like, flat and stuff. Kind of, like, making everything look kind of like it wasn't just, you know, taken from another picture, if that makes sense. Like, making it look like, you know, she was actually there. Like, obviously, everybody knows it's not real, but the more realistic it looks, the better, you know what I'm saying? So... Just doing little, small, little things that I could do to make it look a little bit better. Just little small stuff. Little small stuff. And then zero back out. P show you the before. After, before, after, before, after. Mississippi got a bomb jig. I think my my screen recordings be having a very hard time. I be trying to use OBS and stuff, but OBS make my computer start shutting down. So I don't even think OBS works for me. All right, there we go. So got her done. Now it's just like what her right here, right? I'm gonna go Command E. I think she's pretty straight. Now Command Shift. Shift Command X to um, warp. You guys should pretty much know this by now. Oh wait, did I merge her with her bottom layer? I didn't want to do that. Hold on, I command. I didn't mean to merge her with her bottom layer. I merged her with her shadow layer. I didn't want to merge her with her shadow layer. Command J, and now Command E. Okay, yeah, I didn't want to merge her with her shadow layer. Command Shift X. Go down here. Command plus plus plus. There you go, and just round this out a little bit. You only gotta round it out to where it looks fake, just round it out to where it doesn't look like, you know, like one straight line, you know, like make it look a little more round, you know, help them out a little bit. Cause a lot of the time, it don't even be them, it be the pose, like the pose just don't be, like don't do right. Sometimes the pose, every, every pose isn't right for every, you know, every um, model. So kinda gotta remember that as the photographer as well. Come in. Come in zero. There you go. Hit OK. Boom. Just enough. Like just a little bit. And then we can go in here into the hair and fix the hair wherever it needs. Like you guys see the little white right here. You kind of like, you know, go in a race. Go to your eraser tool. Make it as small as you can. And make sure your feathering and your opacity is not all the way up and just go lightly around the edges to get that white out of there. Yes, I'm using my, I'm using my, I'm using my uniball. I'm right with y'all. I'm not using nothing different than y'all. We're using the same thing. Get y'all uniballs for class. The link gonna be down below. Miss, if you got a bum bum, then shake it. If you got a bum bum, then drink it. Miss, if you got a bum bum, then shake it. I don't know where I heard this song from. I've been watching like survival shows lately, y'all. And they've been actually pretty freaking good, man. Like they've been pretty darn good. Like just like the general survival shows, man. It's been pretty darn good. I've been liking them, not even gonna lie. Not even gonna lie. They've been very fun to watch. Made me feel like I'm living in one. After I'm done with this tutorial for y'all, I'm literally gonna go back to watching one. Cause if my client just canceled on me, then hey bro, I don't got nothing else to do. So I might as well just, you know, watch a survival show and you know, knock out a whole bunch more editing. Cause tomorrow's Monday, so I need to make sure I got you guys' videos for Monday, Wednesday, Friday at the minimum. I'll make sure I got y'all y'all Monday, Wednesday, Friday at the minimum. And then I'm gonna have y'all um Yeah, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at the minimum. Cause lately I've been just Kind of dropping whenever I'm able. I've been doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but last week I, I did literally Monday through Sunday. 
So I'm trying to, you know, chill a little bit so that way y'all don't get overwhelmed. Cause I'm like, maybe y'all are getting overwhelmed, and that's why not, the video's not doing as good as they do, as good as they should be. Probably because y'all are overwhelmed. All right, so this one right here, Command J, J, Control, Connect these, Command E, Command Shift X. And there you go. Going in here like this right here, and bump them sides together. Bump them sides together. There you go. Everything is just like repetition. Like I get every time I look at like knowing that I have to do one of these edits, I get scared and nervous. And I'm like, oh my god, how am I gonna do this? I guess like the first thing I always think is like, oh my god, how am I gonna do this? Like I'd be like, oh man, oh man. Like I get scared every time I know I have to do a um, VFX edit, but it's like I know it's possible. And then I'd be like, I get even more scared when I know I have to teach y'all how to do it too. Like, or at least show y'all how I did it, you know? And I even necessarily saying that there's, there's not only one way to do some things. If you guys know how to do it a different way, just kind of, you know, watch me to get an idea of what you should do for your shoot, you know what I mean? So, just a little, just a little, just a little, just be the little things like that. That kind of just help you a little bit along the way. Command zero, P, P. Yeah, hit the okay. Boom, and I snatched that down just a little bit. So literally, there we go. And you know what I'm saying? Now you can just, it's just, it's just housekeeping, but mainly the, the shoot done, basically command zero. And now you just go into your, um, get your watermark, throw your watermark on the top layer, make sure it's the top layer. I always don't throw it on the right layer, but I'll make sure it's on the top layer. And then scale that bad boy down, command T, make sure it's locked. Scan that bad boy down. And then literally put it wherever you feel it fits best. Cause me personally, I gotta put my watermark in this. This is too hard to not put my watermark in. Enter, and you know what I'm saying I might change the you know blend mode a little bit, make myself make you feel a little bit better about me doing so, or change the opacity of it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But boom, that's it right there. Command zero, and there you go. There you have your image. You have the. I'm gonna show you guys the example image right here you have the example image and you have my image you know what i'm saying you can add more shadow under her bottom half if you would like you can add more shadow into her um you know heels you could do a lot more everything else is just housekeeping like this might not be my physical finished one right here because i'm still most likely gonna go down here clean this up and stuff i just try my hardest to not make you guys this videos so long i know y'all be like damn taxi you know what i'm saying brother video long you know what i'm saying we got to watch the whole video the video 30 minutes long and i'm like man i feel bad because ain't no i couldn't do no better than that because that's how long it took to edit like you know what i'm saying if it take that long to edit i'm showing y'all the whole process full walkthrough vibes you know what i'm saying full full walkthrough vibes but literally just like that, if you guys want to make it look a little less, you know, opacity and flow always going to help you with a lot of these, getting them lines out and zero. You could even, if you wanted to, you could even layer like over bubbles on top of her. Like let's say for example, you wanted to take this, you wanted to go command J. And then let's say I go and select, just, come on bro, just this bottom half right here. And I'm going to go command J. And now I'm gonna take this bottom half and scroll it all the way to the top. Oh my gosh, see? See, Photoshop done crashed on me, man. It done crashed. I wonder if the screen recording crashed too, cause Photoshop just crashed. Oh man. That sucks. I wonder if the screen recording's crashed. I hope it didn't, man. Photoshop just crashed on me. Photoshop just crashed on me, man. I hope the screen recording did not crash. Hope the screen recording made it to the end, man. We duplicated this layer right here, right? And we had this layer. We duplicated this layer. Command J. Oh, well, we selected, I'm selecting this bottom part below her feet, right? Command J that. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put this layer above her feet. Ignore. Now this layer is above her feet, you see that? Now literally what I can do is, because that layer is above her feet, I can now go to this layer, I can go to the erase tool, and I can get my brush size down 
change my opacity of my brush, change my flow of my brush, and I can bring this back. You know what I'm saying? Bring these feet back. Just like so. If I want her feet to kind of be in the in the suds a little bit, you know what I'm saying? This is how I would do it. If I want her feet kind of in the suds, low key, you know what I'm saying? But low key visible on some vibes. This is how I would do it, just like this. Y'all see that right there? Just like this. Boom, and I command zero. Now you got her feet in the suds. And if you want one foot to be in the suds, you can bring this foot out of the suds a little bit more to if you want it, if you want it to look, you know, like she half in, half out type vibes. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, however you want it to look, you know what I'm saying? It's really up to you at this point. But you could have it halfway in the suds, halfway out of the suds. You could have some of it in, some of it out. You could do her like that to where you add a little bit of depth, you know what I'm saying? Really however you want to do it. You have her all the way out the suds, however you want to do it. You can command Z. But I think I'm about to do, I think I'm going to do one of these back here. But I want to get this covered. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Boom. I like this right here. See? Command zero. Now this is the image. This is your final, your final image. Oh, no, nah, they took away my watermark. They're different. Boom. Put that boy back. They're not playing with me. Oh, and they took away this part right here. Y'all see the difference that they took away? Like, there was, like, stuff that I did this. I had did this before. They literally, like, messed up. Like, doing the whole thing went backwards, man. But, yeah, so that's basically it for the tutorial, you guys. Just showing you guys how I got this image, how I did what I did. If you guys want more ideas like this, more tutorials like this, Feel free to let me know down in the comments what you guys want to see. Um, go join the Patreon if you guys want to, you know, get the um, raw images to these. And you guys want to do that. The Patreon is free. So don't be tripping off of it. You know what I'm saying? It's a little free little vibe. Don't be tripping. Don't be tripping. You good. You know what I'm saying? Join that thing up. Then there's like a $5 plan if you guys want to, you know, just support the boy. And then there's a, um, I think it's like... There's another one you guys could join if you guys want to learn more in depth and get like, you know, to talk to me personally and different stuff like that. So $15 a month, it's not that bad. A lot of other creators do $30, $50 a month. It's a lot of money, but I understand everybody on a budget. So I try to go as low as possible. And with that tier, that's just what I do. And then my tier before that's $5. So we want to just text in the chat, get the Discord, join up, man, join up. You know what I'm saying? It's a community. I mean, I'm trying to build a community, trying to build a family. So that's where we at right now. I'm trying to build a community, trying to build a family. But I love you guys, man. I want to say thank you guys so much, man. You guys are the reason that I create everything that I create. You guys are the reason that I'm as good as I am because I literally push myself every day to be better so I could teach y'all something else. Like, the more and more that I learn, the more and more you guys are able to learn. You know what I mean? So that's why I try my hardest to, you know, just keep moving forward so that way I can continue to learn things so I can then in turn teach you guys the things that I'm learning so that, you know, we all grow, you know what I'm saying? It's a family effort, you know, they say it take a village. So why not, you know, me help you guys, you know, learn and then you guys are helping me learn because you guys want to learn something like, oh, hey, taxi, how do you do this? What if I don't know how to do that? I might not know how to do it, but I'll go find out. You know what I mean? I'll go learn how to do this just for you guys. So that way you guys now have that knowledge. And now I also have that knowledge. So and then when another question comes up, I'm able to, you know, help you guys with that. So, yeah, so for everybody that watches this, you know, for my little fam, for the little fam that be watching and tuning in every single one of my videos, man, I appreciate y'all, man. Like, there was a time there was a time and place when I never, when I didn't have any viewers, for real. So, to be able to post a video and I know I'm going to get, like, you know, at least 50 views, I know that those are my core people. You guys are my core 50, man. So, if you guys are part of the core 50, drop core 50 down below, man. I love you guys. I want to be able to just see you guys see you guys as you know usernames because later on i might drop something i might do something and being that i see that you guys are the core 50 you guys are gonna be the ones that i give it to first because you guys were here with me you know what i'm saying so that's my my core 50 i love y'all man it's 50 of you guys that i know for a fact whenever my videos drop y'all gonna y'all gonna mess with me you know what i'm saying so my core 50 no matter what i drop 50 of y'all that's gonna that's gonna watch it and i love you guys for that man i want to say thank you guys for everything that y'all do for me and um yeah i'm gonna just keep pushing for you guys man i'm gonna try to get out of this little rut that i'm in i'm try to keep dropping a lot more do more daily vlogs and stuff like that for you guys i love you guys so much man i'm not trying to get all sentimental and weird but you guys make me who i am and you guys are the reason that i am as as good as i am you know what i mean so thank you guys for everything make sure to share this with a photographer videographer or a model that might find the information that's helpful until next time taxi